We are joined by Dr. Mark McComey, the owner of McComey Family Dentistry, along with his wife, Dr. Ellen McComey. Uh, Dr. McComey is the immediate past president of the Chattanooga Area Dental Society. Dr. McComey, uh, I'm glad to have you on this morning. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Scott. It's great to be here. Thank you, sir. Listen, I when I have mentioned to people that you're going to be on my show, you'd be shocked at how many people are saying, you know, I was wondering about that. I really need to get to the dentist. So let's get to it. Uh, with COVID, some people haven't been coming to the dentist. They've been concerned. Uh, what what has happened to dentistry? Were you all shut down for a little while? What 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 happened when we first were hit? You know, when it first came out, there was somewhat of a panic going on as far as what to do with personal protective equipment or PPE. And so they shut down dentistry. I believe we were shut down right there in the beginning of March, about the 15th of March, somewhere around there. And then we didn't reopen until May 6th. And so that was a, that was a strange period of time for us because we were completely shut down, just seeing emergencies only. So in our office, we were coming in on Mondays and Thursdays and seeing emergency patients and now we're full on we're doing everything and we've got additional precautions in place and the american dental association came out and wrote protocol for all dentists to follow can you share with us then when uh the person you know the person i'm talking to on the phone says gosh I, my husband needs to go to the dentist we were concerned what kind of protocols are in place now dr mccombie well, it's very different. We don't use our waiting room really anymore. We use your car as our waiting room. And so when you come to the dentist, we ask you to call us from your car. We'll bring paperwork out to you. We have a COVID questionnaire to go through that will detail, has different questions of running fevers and that. Then once you we bring you in the building, the first thing we do is we stop, we take your temperature. We have a thermometer that we point at your head. It's a touchless thermometer. and and then we sanitize your hands, bring you back. Um, everybody's, we wear different masks than we ever have before. And that's for our protection, not necessarily yours or maybe protecting you from us. But we, and then we have different things in place. We have surgically clean air units. We have a negative pressure office. We have UV lights in our ductwork. The, in dentistry, we, we generate an aerosol. And it's still, they think it could transfer an aerosol, but they're not sure. But we want to make sure we don't have any aerosol flying around in our office that could get anybody sick. There's Dental offices have not been seen to be a point of um, exposure or point of transmission, which is a good thing. And that tells me that, you know, all the dentists out here, we're taking it serious. Everybody's doing their part to try to make it awesome and make sure that, you know, you're not going to get sick when you come to the dentist. And I presume with uh, schools reopening, or at least the plans for schools reopening, uh, the, the local dentists here are seeing a lot of business, especially that two month layoff. You know, it was interesting. It is, it's, uh, we have been busy, busy ever since we've come back. And the thing we're seeing is all those people that were pushing off toothaches. And then there's people that say, hey, I pay for two cleanings a year that I get free with my insurance. How am I supposed to get those if I can't come in? And then we have people that are on the other side of it that are very cautious that are just like, I'm not ready to come in right now. And so it goes across the whole board, across the whole spectrum, and we will accommodate anybody and anybody that wants to talk about it. We're more than happy to talk about what we're doing and the reasons why and the protocols we have in place so that you can come to the dentist safely and take your children to the orthodontist and resume orthodontic care. That's all great, you know, and Chattanooga as a whole, the community really banded together and the Tennessee Dental Association helped us get the proper PPE to protect our employees and to keep our patients safe. And so that was a big measure. The Tennessee Dental Association provided every dentist in the state with KN95 masks that will pass a fit test. Oh, and wow. that's huge. Okay, well, Dr. McComey, one one question between uh, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this for all of us between coming to see you, you know, twice a year. What kind of uh, measures can we take? What kind of steps can we take to keep the our oral health to, to the uh, maximum peak? You know, I think the things we need to do, just your typical stuff, your brushing, your flossing, 
uh, stay on top of things, eat healthy. I think, you know, we can, there are studies that show eating cheese before you go to bed. They did not Afghanistan children, the World Health Organization did it. It shows a massive decrease in the casein protein in cheese it inhibits the ability for the bad bacteria to colonize and to cause bad harm to our teeth, to dig holes, to cause uh, tooth decay and gum disease. Just a simple piece of cheese will do things that are great. Um, you know, there's other things that you can do. You can chew sugarless gum in between meals. The xylitol in that has an antimicrobial effect that goes beyond what we understand with fluoride and things. It actually kills the bad bacteria specifically in our mouths, and that leads us to good oral health. Just small little things like that, incrementally, drinking water instead of a sugary drink is also, of course, that's obvious, but there are those things to do, and every little small piece, they all add up. That's awesome, Dr. McComey. It's been wonderful having you on. I, I think we have really learned a lot, and and I know given it's given me a lot of confidence, and I, I'm sure a lot of our listeners will say, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go back. Dr. McComey, if we're interested in going to McComey Family Dentistry, and uh, I am a patient of yours, I'll give full disclosure, love your place, love your people, love your kid. Dr. McComey is the, an amazing kid, but... Uh, <laughs> How, how how do we how do we find you, sir? How, where do we find you online? We're at uh, MacomyFamilyDentistry dot com, and you can hit our website. We've got a very active Facebook, social media um, things. We're on Instagram and Facebook. You can also give our office a call at eight nine nine one 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 two area code four two three, and you can even text that number if you'd rather text us and talk to us that way. But you know, the bottom line is. Across the Tennessee Valley, dentists are open. We're seeing patients. Everybody, take your kid to the orthodontist. Come yourself. Don't live with a toothache. You know, come see us. We're safe. We're going to keep you safe. We're listed as the same risk as going to a grocery store. <laughs> there you go. Dr. McComey, I'm very grateful for your time today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to see you. Like our page, subscribe to our channel. Get the latest updates.